In this Thrawn and Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on how to defeat the Floor 14 Secret Dungeon Boss of the Old Wizard's Eye. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus a Lucent every couple of days. Now to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. So you're probably watching this wondering about this boss's crazy one hit attack which kills 99.9% .9 of players with one hit. But don't worry guys, I will teach you everything you need to know about this boss and all the moves, the damage moves he does. So this boss has a few different damage moves that he does and you need to be aware of. But when you get them down guys, they're quite easy to avoid. So upon you start in this fight, you have about 5 or 10 seconds to lay down as much damage you can before he does that first stun attack, which you definitely want to be dodging here. Now you get the dodge marker on the screen so you know where to time it, but yes, you want to be dodging this, otherwise he stuns you on the spot and has about 5 seconds of doing 3 damage to you. So his second attack here guys, he drops 3 red circles on the floor, which if you stand in, they do damage here but it ain't massive damage. These you can easily avoid by rotating the boss left or right just standing away from the circles. Simple as that. He will then shortly after doing that start jumping and ground pounding the floor. Which again you can simply just jump to avoid this. Now if you're close to the boss when he's doing this you get hit with it still even if you did jump. So stay about two meters away from him, jump and you should be fine here. Now he will then shortly after doing this grand pounding jump in attack uh, where he does a devastating attack, his most powerful attack where if you're anywhere in his sight you're more or less dead. Now to avoid this guys you want to be as close to the boss as possible. It's why I definitely recommend after he does those grand pound attacks where he's jumping and bouncing his ass off the floor. From this point you want to get to as close to the boss as possible. And then when he starts to do the most powerful attack attack you can tell by the audio cue here you want to dodge and get behind him now you have to be real careful here as you can easily get stuck under him or on one of his tentacles so you want to try and escape and move to the side of the boss and then get behind him for me it was taking two dodges every single time if I ever dodged just once uh, the attack would still hit me and kill me so here make sure you also reserve that stamina too so you have access to those two dodges so you can get out of the way of this. Now this move legit killed me about 20 times due to me not timing things right and getting stuck trying to dodge out of this attack. But yes stay close to the boss when you hear that audio cue you just want to dodge and get behind him. Now after this point guys he goes into like a rotation of those three red circles on the floor and the ground pound. Again, with the red circles, just rotate away from them, and with the ground pounds, just jump in time, uh, slightly away from the boss, and you should be fine. These don't do crazy amounts of damage anyway, so there shouldn't be anywhere near one hitting you. Now, he will do that devastating attack again, but normally the second time he does this, uh, and the third time, sometimes he does it for a third time too, he will revert back to the very first stun attack he does at the start of the fight, which you get that dodge marker on screen, which you can easily dodge. Normally with this attack and at the point in the fight where he does this for a second time um, You can dodge it obviously if you dodge it it's fine if you don't dodge it he will stun you If he stuns you he normally follows up with that one hit attack So here guys it's all about staying close to him Dodging at that perfect time and then getting away from him when he goes into that devastating one hit attack but yes, after the second time of him doing this devastating attack and you're avoiding it, he literally does the same thing over and over until you take him down, guys. It's basically a cycle. So yeah, you should be good there when you know exactly what you need to do. On screen now, guys, is a start to finish uh, fight of me taking down this boss, so enjoy that. But there we have it, guys, and I hope the video helped you out. If you did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next. One.
isn't she waking up? I'm sure all the specifications were right. There's no way.